The Muppets Take Manhattan, the third theatrical Muppet film. So, what's this movie about? Well, the Muppets have just graduated from college, for some reason, and they had a hit broad or a hit musical which they want to take to Broadway. Unfortunately, they have some troubles. Some people don't want to pick it up, and the only person that wants to is a criminal. Supposedly, they don't really go in too far in depth into that. Um. So they're having troubles, and they can't afford to stay where they are. So they all have to leave, in a very sad. Um, may ever makes everyone cry musical number, but so then Kermit is just dedicated. He's like, I want to go get. I, I need to get this done. I need to. I we got to get them all back together, together again. Um. So, but then he's so he's got this um lady friend and her dad. They're helping. Um, Miss Piggy gets jealous for some reason. She's still there, um, because she can't leave Kermit, of course. Um. But, so, finally, after all these trials and stuff that Kermit does, he finally gets someone to want to um, produce the musical. Then Kermit gets amnesia, and all the Muppets are already back, and so they have to get his mind jog mind back before the musical starts. Oh, and Miss Piggy and Kermit get married. And Muppet babies. Yep, so that's basically the plot of... Muppets Take Manhattan. So what do I like about this movie? Well, hmm. Well, I like the Muppet Baby scene. That's a really cool part. Um, plus it was based, it was what um, introduced them. If you've seen the TV show, this is where the idea came from. Um, what else? Uh, the idea of the musical is pretty cool. I like the song Together Again and Right Where I Belong and all those songs. Um, um, hmm. It's funny. There are a lot of funny parts. Um, rat, the rat song, I don't remember. It's like rat scat, something's cooking, something's like, something like that. Um, that's really cool with all the rats um making the food um it's nothing compared to like um um couldn't we ride but it's still pretty cool it's like that big scene for the movie um what else um i like the human characters i think they're pretty nice <laughs> Um, hmm. I don't know why I'm having trouble thinking of things I like. Um, the, I mean, well, this was the I'll I'll just clarify something. This was the first film Frank Oz got to direct. That was um, Muppets. I think Jim Henson did all the other did the other two. Um, and. Uh, well, I wish I could think of other things I like. I'm, I don't know why I'm having trouble here. So I guess let's just go over to the things I don't like. Um, I don't really like the human characters. I like them, but I don't like them. They're sort of just there. They they add some things, but they don't really add a lot. Um, no, I'm kind of contradicting myself, but it's sort of just... Um, I This is sort of a... I, I, this might sound a little controversial. Maybe I'll get some hate mail. I don't know. But I feel like the Muppets that leave, like Fozzie and all of them, should have had more of a, I don't want to come back. I know that's sort of crazy. It's like, what? You don't want the Muppets back? But what I'm saying is, when they're gone, they show scenes of what they're doing while they're not in Manhattan anymore. And it's like, well, I can't be with my friends because we don't have money. But I don't like where I am now. Oh, wait, I can't come back? Okay. Um, I feel like they should have at least had one character who was like, Well, I'm happy where I am. Uh, I don't want to come back. And maybe they have to try really hard to get them there. Um, what else? Um, there's one thing I have sort of a problem with, but I'll get to that later. Um, 
I'm not a big fan of the ending. Not like the wedding. I think that's cool. That's a really cool scene. Um, but just the way it, it, the movie itself ends, it's like a heart or heart, and it has um, Piggy and Kermit, and then it's like credits. <laughs> um, I just feel like that was more like seemed more like a TV special kind of ending instead of a Muppet movie one. I didn't like. I don't like how they don't show a lot of the musical. It seems like oh, we're building up this grand musical, then we only show like five minutes. Um. I, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't pay fi I wouldn't pay the amount of money to see a Broadway musical if it was only five minutes. I mean, even if it was, well, I mean, if it was the Muppets, yeah, I probably would. But <laughs> um, yeah, it's like, oh, we've got all these songs together again, all these, and I mean, they do do the, they do the right where I belong. They do sing that, which is what they've been oh we've got a great song that's a that's a part I like that's a funny part when they're like oh we got this great song and start, we got this great musical it's about these people on Broadway and it starts with the musical and everybody goes like that here I am look at me da, 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 da. that's funny because it's just <laughs> it's just random um well it's not really yeah it's just it just seems like it just comes out of nowhere it's like uh, <sighs> but that's a part I like yeah um <laughs> but the big problem I have is this seems too Kermit centric and I know it's like well Kermit's basically the Mickey Mouse of the Muppets but it's just like oh well Kermit's the only one who stays Kermit's the only one who cares about this musical Kermit's the one who gets amnesia um, they have to snap Kermit at, um, I just feel like maybe if Miss Piggy had been the one who got amnesia and Kermit had to be like I don't know, had to be the one to conv had to find a way to convince her who she is. Um, um, even though the way Miss Piggy convinces Kermit or gets Kermit back into his regular mindset, um, that's still a really funny um, part, but I just feel like uh, I don't know, just I mean with the Muppet movie, that's more Kermit centric, but this one it feels like with this one, it's more of Kermit's the main character, and these people are just part of his story. But with the Muppet movie, it's like Kermit and these people add to his story as opposed to just there. Um, now I gotta go kind of on a sad subject. Um, this was the third theatrical Muppet film I said, and this was also the last that. Jim Henson or Richard Hunt would ever work on. In, in the early 90s, both of them passed away. Um, it was very... I, I can only imagine how sad it must have really been, and for, probably for a lot of Muppet fans. Um, I, I can only imagine that a lot of them probably thought, well, this is the end. Um, what do we do now that our our person is gone um Disney finally got yeah finally got a hold of the Muppets which was sort of a long running rumor um but Brian Henson would go on to tr to try to I don't want to use the word try because that makes it sound like he didn't do a good job Brian Henson continued how, yeah he just continued the legacy his father left um yeah uh, that's sort of a problem I have I wish this hadn't been the last film though two of those worked on because I mean neither of them none of them could have predicted I mean this was six or seven years before both of them died um so but if they had ended with something like The Great Muppet Caper or, Caper or um, The Muppet Movie, I think it could have been better, but um, what the way they recovered, um, I'll, I'll talk about it in my later, in my next reviews, but the way they recovered, they did a really good job. Um, so, yeah, that was, Muppets Take Manhattan, I think would probably really be pretty low on my list, probably number six. Not because it's just a bad film, but compared to the other ones, it just doesn't really 
hold up as well. So, I mean, if you like it, that's great. But for me, it's just sort of a, it's just sort of there. It's sort of just that. I like, I would say something. I liked it a lot more than um, how I remembered it. Because it had been a few years before I, since I had seen it. So going back and seeing it again, I liked it a lot more the this last time. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Um, but it's sort of just, it's just mediocre at best. But I mean, I like it. It's just not one of my absolute favorites. Rock.